Right, and to the probability stats, or stats questions in this case. Question five. So a survey of remote learning was carried out on a random sample of 400 students. Now, when I see that 400, I'm thinking n is equal to 400. 135 of these, of these students preferred remote learning over in-person learning. Give all your answers to four decimal places. So work out the proportion of the sample that preferred remote learning. So the proportion of the sample from these results, we can see that 135 out of 400 of them preferred remote learning or remote learning. We need to leave it in four decimal places. 0 0.3375. Next one, use the margin of error one over root n. So one over root n, you might have briefly touched on it, more so in the ordinary level papers, to create a 95% confidence interval uh, for the proportion of the population that preferred remote learning. So in this, what we do is it's p hat minus one over root n. We're getting an idea of a population from a proportion. So we're plus and minus the margin of error to that. So we worked out the proportion here, p hat, up in the top line. So it's 0.3375 minus 1 over root n, which is root 400. And here we have 0.3375 plus 1 over root 400. Throw that into your calculator. Twenty three over eighty. Again, we want it in four decimal places. 0.2875. So twenty eight point seven five percent of the population. And we'll go back and change it. Zero point three eight seven five. Thirty eight point seven five percent. Next one. Using the proportion from a part one, and our proportion was 0.3375. Create a ninety five percent confidence interval that is more accurate, the one that you would have seen more of in the higher level papers, uh, for a 95% confidence interval based on the margin of error. And if you turn to page 34, your formula books, you see the standard error of the proportion, the bottom one, um, the one that you'll use. And it's a 95% confidence. So what you're doing here is, instead of plus or minus one over root n, it's gonna be plus or minus 1.96, which is my 95%, p, 1 minus p over n. So p or p hat, whatever you want to call it, 3375 plus or minus 1.96.375. Uh, One minus 0 0.3375 over n, which is my 400. And my population will lie between the limits of Zero point two nine one one six so four decimal places zero point two nine one two over on the other side zero point three eight three eight so more accurate than the one over root n. Next one twenty nineteen people with a prepay mobile phone plan spent an average twenty point seven nine so that's my population mean twenty euro seventy nine cent. 2021, some students carried out a survey to see if this figure had changed. They surveyed a random sample of 500 people, which is my n. And for the sample, so for the sample, the mean amount was 2216. So the sample mean x cap, and there's my standard deviation. Carried out hypothesis test at 5% level of significance. State your null hypothesis, your alternative, and give a reason for your conclusion. So null hypothesis is a statement of no change. So my HO my population spend was 20 euro 79 cent. The mean amount spent, you can put it in English if you want. Alternative to that is your mean amount spent is not 20 euro 79 cent. Now there's different ways to do this. You can convert it to a Z score or you can work with that standard error of the mean and see does a 20 euro 79 lie within that. So I might do my Z score and see what you wish, but there is the other way. You could do your standard error of your mean and see does your 20 euro 79 lie within the limits of it. So your calculations, the key things here, at your 5% level of significance, or at your 95% confidence interval, 5% level of significance, if I'm doing my Z scores, 
the critical regions. Well, you don't need to write this. Or is it bigger than 1.96? Or is it less than 1.96? And if we're out, way out into them limits, we reject our null hypothesis. So to work out my Z score on page 35, I see here my formula there. So my sample mean, which is 2216, minus 2079 over my standard deviation, HO12, and my population root 500. Put that into my calculator. And I say most students in the country might have, be, might have learned this way, but as I say, you could have worked out um, the standard error for the mean and see does it lie within that. So create a confidence interval for that mean and see does it lie within that interval. And we get 3.77, so a massive value there. So it lies within that critical region. So what we do is we reject the null hypothesis. Reject HO, reject your null hypothesis. The mean amount spent is much greater, or is greater. And 2079, we know it's greater because it's a positive Z value, it's in that upper end. Right.